Sonic booms created by aircraft flying faster than the speed of sound certainly aren't known for being faint, but rather for their loud make-you-jump effect. But sonic booms also have a quieter side. NASA's Supersonics Project is embarking on a new effort to characterize that fainter side of sonic booms in the Farfield Investigation of No Boom Threshold Project, or FAINT. Principal Investigator Larry Clyatt at NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center says FAINT is designed to enable engineers to better understand evanescent waves, an acoustic phenomenon that occurs at the very edges of the normal sonic boom envelope. Then you have your evanescent waves, which is on the other side of that. Uh, they tend to be uh, a lot quieter, uh, probably about five to ten times quieter than your, your normal in-wave sonic boom, and they kind of sound like a distant thunder rumble. Supersonic shock waves produced by an aircraft flying at a speed of about Mach 1.2 or less and at an altitude above 35,000 feet typically do not reach the ground, so no sonic boom is heard. This is because the supersonic shock waves created at higher altitudes are refracted or bent upwards as they enter the warmer air closer to the ground. When these shock waves curve upward, they create a series of sonic boom waves that are focused along what is called a caustic line. Another phenomenon that produces evanescent waves is called lateral cutoff. And there you have the aircraft flying and the sonic boom carpet that's produced on the ground. Laterally to that, you also have uh, another disturbance, and those are evanescent waves. Linear and spiral microphone arrays laid out on the dry lake bed at Edwards Air Force Base, along with microphones on a blimp-shaped balloon and a motor glider flying above the arrays, record the faint sonic booms. Project manager Brett Power says the overarching goal of NASA's sonic boom reduction research is to collect data that could help make commercial supersonic flight over land practical. The purpose of the FAINT project in general is just an additional piece of research that we're working on for having a supersonic commercial transport that can fly over land. NASA's always trying to uh, push research, push boundaries, and one of the things we're trying to do is to bring commercial supersonic travel uh, to the world.